release of SpectraFlow 2.2, there are now three different Boolean gates that you can use. The NOT gate, the AND gate, and the OR gate. To get to the NOT gate, simply click the gate that you want to create a NOT gate off of. For example, I could click this mono gate and right click on it, then choose the add NOT gate button, and a NOT gate will be created. For the other two gates, the AND and the OR gate, you have to create these off of the population hierarchy. So let's go ahead and click the population hierarchy button and then click in the worksheet to create a population hierarchy. I'm going to make it a little bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Then say for example I want to make an AND gate off of my lymph gate and my mono gate. I can hold the control key and select both of those. Then right click and select intersect AND gates and you can see the gate appears here in the population hierarchy. I can do the same thing for the OR gate. I select the populations that I want to apply the OR gate to, right click, and select the join OR gates. And you can see that gate has appeared in my population hierarchy as well. If you want to change the colors, simply select the gate, and over here in the gate properties editor, you can click on gate color and choose whatever color you want that gate to become. If I want to display that population, maybe I can duplicate this plot here. Then again, in my plot properties, I can change the plot gate to any of the different Boolean gates I've created. So here's my not mono gate. Once I've created these different Boolean gates, I can also use them as stopping criteria. First, I have to save my changes in my worksheet. Then I can click the edit to open my experiment editor and go to the acquisition tab. Once there, I can select the worksheet that I have, my three color dry kit, and under stopping gate, all of the new gates I've selected are now options that I can use as my stopping criteria.